Hey, Sarah. How are you doing? I don't know, Ralph. How do you think I'm doing? Well, in part four of our mega crossover review of Batman Arkham Knight, you didn't say more than four words. Really? You actually counted that? Yeah, trust me. It wasn't that hard to do. I know you're upset. And what exactly am I upset about, Ralph? The epic females of Ralph's universe. You're upset about that series being put in hiatus. Why did you do that, Ralph? There were problems with it, Sarah. We were getting lots of complaints about this series. You were getting complaints? Just how many? Lots. So, because of that, you want to cancel the whole series. Last I remember, this was your idea. I know. I know. It's not because of you, Sarah. This is my doing. I came to you with this. So, what are you going to do with the epic females of Ralph's universe? For now, just leave it in hiatus until we can come to a decision about it. Or wait for the tension to die down. It's been about two years, Ralph. I think the tension has died down. Then it needs more time. So, while we're waiting for the tension to die down, I'll be out of work? No. You'll never be out of work, Sarah. I have another project for you. Another project? Like what? Catfish, the TV show for the fourth season. How about you join me in reviewing this series? I think it'll work out great. You really think so? This show is epic, needs to be reviewed, and more importantly, the Jaguars are requesting it. The Jaguars are requesting it? Oh yeah, big time. Okay, then let's do it for the Jaguars. Let's do it for the Jaguars. What's up, Jaguars and fans of Catfish, the TV show? Yes, I'm finally back on this. I did start reviewing the fourth season on my other YouTube channel, Ralph Jaguar 1, but then other stuff came up. Other stuff that I really had to attend to. Then I almost, almost forgot about this show. You see, I really like this show. Catfish the TV show. I have a real passion for this show and I really like reviewing this for all of you. It's epic. Very epic. Perhaps the most epic show ever. The only thing was, was that things just got so crazy and out of control in my universe and my personal issues were starting to get the better of me. Well, no more. Thanks to the Jaguars and fans of this show, I'm jumping back on this. Now, I know that I am really late and behind on reviewing this season of Catfish, the TV show, but I'm going to do my hardest to catch up. Now, the other projects and web series of Ralph J. Images will continue. Now, as you can see here, I'm not alone in reviewing this. I got one of my girls with me, a member of the staff of Ralph J. Images and star of the epic females of Ralph's universe, Sarah the Easy Diva. Hey, Jaguars and fans of this show. Yeah, I'll be joining Ralph on this review miniseries. Yeah, I was very hesitant on doing this at first, but this TV show called Catfish is really epic. 
Neve and Max do an awesome job on this. I'm a big fan like everyone else. So, I'm very happy to be doing this. We just got done watching the first episode of the fourth season. Ralph, why don't you tell everyone what this episode was about? I'm more than happy to, Sarah. By now, we all know that Max was out for a six episode so he can direct a movie called We Are Your Friends. So, for about five episodes, Neve had to be joined by guest partners to stand in for Max. We Are Your Friends? That's the name of the movie he's directing? Hate to say it, but that's a red flag for his movie. Well, you shouldn't judge a movie by its title, Sarah. It could turn out to be epic. After all, this is Max we're talking about here. Anyways, in this episode, Charlemagne joined Neve as a guest partner to solve this mystery. Miracle is a 26-year-old African-American female who lives in Milwaukee, W.I., who have met what she believes is the man of her dreams, Giovanni, who sent Miracle a friend request on Instagram and he wanted her to text him sometime. Giovanni said that he was an up-and-coming music producer who had moved from Milwaukee to Atlanta. When Miracle asked Giovanni to video chat or Skype, he said that he couldn't because he couldn't remember any of his login info. Miracle would ask Giovanni when they are going to meet and he would always say soon, but it would never happen. Miracle said that her feelings for Giovanni were through the roof and she really liked the pics of Giovanni and okay looking African American guy. But then Miracle felt like she and Giovanni were starting to drift apart because of the fact that they had yet to meet in person. Miracle really felt that if Giovanni was the guy that he said that he was, then he is the one for her. Miracle and Giovanni spoke on the phone a lot. Neve and Charlemagne met up with Miracle in Milwaukee and they talked about the situation. Miracle's mom was a drug addict and Miracle herself has a kid. So Neve and Charlemagne did their investigation like Neve would do with Max and they traced the phone number and found Ricky with the spoon, a guy who looks different than in the pictures. Neve even found a video. The one that she's been talking to is not the guy in the pics. Neve found the guy in the pics, quote unquote Giovanni on Twitter and Skyped with him and he says that he's not the one that Miracle has been talking to this whole time. Neve and Charlemagne were able to arrange a meet with the fake Giovanni whose real name is Ricky Witherspoon, an overweight African-American male whose name is Ricky, whom is married to a lady named Kara, or Kara, but let's just go with Kara, a lady who's been posing as Giovanni while on the phone texting Miracle, and Ricky posed as Giovanni while talking to Miracle on the phone, presenting a guy voice. This whole thing was a hoax plotted by Kara. The whole thing was her idea. Kara said that another friend of hers had a boyfriend who was cheating on her, so Kara made this fake page up to get all of the info that she needed from that other girl. Kara was sending out friend requests 
to loss of people, including miracle. Kara kept on with the charade of posing as Giovanni and pretending to be in love with Miracle. Kara does have lupus, by the way. Kara says that she kept going with the charade because it became an addiction that was good to her and she couldn't stop. She couldn't stop. Wow, that's really messed up, Ralph. Kara made up that fake profile on Instagram target info on another girl for her friend, whose man was cheating. But why put Miracle through all that? She did nothing wrong. Kara could have stopped this when Miracle accepted her friend's request. Kara should have stopped it when Miracle accepted her friend's request. I mean, in the end, it wasn't the person in the pictures, which is definitely the norm for this show. But this time was very screwy. I agree with you, Ralph. But I do feel sorry for Kara. She's dealing with a lot since she has lupus. And that's a disease that affects everything. Even a person's judgment. It was bad enough what Kara was doing. But then her husband, Ricky, was dragged into this whole hoax. Kara dragged him into it. And he agreed to it. So, that makes him guilty as well. That's right. Ricky was part of the guilty party. Miracle has such strong feelings for quote-unquote Giovanni. She actually fell in love with Giovanni. The only problem was that Giovanni wasn't real. And Miracle had her heart broken in a previous relationship. But this right here had to be worse for her. She obviously feels played and her emotions toying with. It looks like Miracle is healing. Two months later, she stopped looking for love on the internet and she's given the real world a try. She may even be trying nightclubs. And Kara has deactivated her Giovanni profile, which I think is good. Yeah, it's done enough damage. What do you think about Charlemagne? I think he contributed to this episode. Me, too. I like the way he worked that camera. And all those sex references is what we really needed to hear. Thanks a lot. After four years, this kind of stuff is still happening. People are still being played by catfishers. It's amazing, Ralph. Yeah. I think it's pretty amazing too, but there, are, but there are lots of hopefuls out there that still believe that it is possible to find love online, which is which is true. But as we've, but as we've learned from watching this show, you got to use extreme caution. Peace out. Till later. Jaguars and fans of this show.